Meet Colin Wayne, social media connoisseur, military veteran, published fitness model, and CEO of a multi-million dollar company, one that's based right here in Huntsville. Wayne is the owner of Redline Steel, a fledgling company making a big impact. He was recently invited to the White House to attend President Trump's third annual Made in America product showcase. Only one company is chosen from each state, and Redline was the face of Alabama. So how did this Huntsville native manage to take the internet by storm, grace covers of magazines, and land the corner office of his very own facility all before the age of 30? The road wasn't an easy one. I'm a high school dropout. Uh, I got my GED, joined the military. You don't necessarily need college to be successful in this time of day. The most important thing is self-belief. He believed he could become a world-renowned fitness model. Colin's love for the camera has humble beginnings. My mom was a professional photographer. She had a studio here in Huntsville for about 20 years, and she specialized in like children's photography. So I was, I was very comfortable in front of a camera. But you think in Alabama, like the success rate could be super low, like you need to be in New York City or LA, but you know, we live in a time of day now where social media is so powerful and you can accomplish anything no matter where you're located. And his mastery of social media all started with a single post. I started a Facebook fan page, that's where I started. Um, my first 30 days I had over 100,000 followers. I honestly didn't know what I was doing at first, uh, but I saw market opportunity. Whatever he does, Colin likes to think he attacks it all in. I literally bought an RV uh, in 2017 and lived at Redline for three months because I didn't want to drive 25 minutes home, 25 minutes back. Because of his unorthodox path to corporate America and the millions of no's he heard before he finally got his yes, Colin keeps an open mind when looking for members of his team. I look at things at a little bit different of a perspective. When I joined the military, I was a private. I didn't go into it as you know a staff sergeant or a sergeant first class. So no matter what your resume says, no matter what your background is, I don't care if you have a felony. I don't care what your background is. It's the value that you can contribute to Redline. Are you a team player? Can you show up to work on time, right place, right time, right uniform? Those are all very important attributes to me. And I don't care about a lot of the stuff that a lot of corporate America does uh, because everybody's a person and everybody deserves a second chance. But I sat down with another member of the team, the plant manager of Redline Steel. Major Holmes recounts the day he and Colin stepped into the White House to present on behalf of Redline. But for him, the moment stands out for a different reason. Invited to the White House with this organization was a, a beautiful opportunity for me to actually thank the individuals that paved the way so that I can be a part of that. A lot of people want to pretend racism doesn't exist, but here at Redline, they deal with reality. And while I was in D.C., um, I had a chance to meet the president and his staff, but most importantly, I had a chance to meet the butlers, the individuals that were cleaning up the rooms, the people that made it possible so that I can attend the University of South Alabama along with Mary Military Institute and actually graduate. So this gave me an opportunity, <clears throat> excuse me, to present my thank you from my mother and father to these individuals that have paved the way so that I can stand in the White House in rooms where African Americans were not allowed to stand unless they were holding the tray. Putting the Valley first, Sydney Stallworth, WZDX News.